Need a way to make your Microsoft RAS VPN more secure? How about a little two-factor authentication all up in your faces? This episode of Tech Shop is brought to you by Gamefly. Never buy a bad game. Welcome to episode 34 of Tech Shop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. This week, we're going to look at an awesome tool you can use to add two-factor authentication to many systems you have on your Office network. Although you can use it on multiple systems, the example I will be giving you is with Microsoft's Routing and Remote Access VPN system. So what is two-factor authentication? Basically, there are three ways security experts use to authenticate your access either to a network or to a building. These three methods have to do with something you know, like a password or a pin code, something you have, like an RSA token or a magnetic key card, or finally something that you are, like a thumbprint or a retinal scan if you want to get crazy. Two-factor authentication requires that before access can be given, the person requesting access needs to provide two of the three authentication methods. That way, if one of the methods gets compromised, like the password for instance, bad guys still can't log in without the second method of authenticating. The software I'll be showing you today provides the something you have method with the use of a cell phone to whatever you already have in place. You see, even though it is easy to spoof an outbound phone number, it is actually pretty difficult to capture a phone call in transit and have it redirected to another phone. That makes this method pretty good in my opinion, and even better is it's not overly complicated for the end users. Bless their hearts. The tool I'll be showing you today is called Phone Factor, and it is free for up to 25 users. I spoke to their sales team and they said that if you go over 25 users, then you have to jump up to their enterprise tier where they sell license bundles in increments of 50 users. For a small company though, the free 25 user solution might be fine for you. Before we get too involved with Phone Factor though, let's take a quick break for our sponsor. You ever go to the store and buy a game, and 10 minutes into it you realize that it's pretty much the worst game you've ever played? That will never happen with Gamefly. With Gamefly you can choose from over 8,000 titles, and they ship right to your door. Play as long as you want, and send them back when you're done. If you decide you like a game, you can opt to keep it for a discount, and Gamefly will even mail you the packaging. Packages start at the low price of only $5.95 per month for the first month, then it's only $15.95 per month after that. And TechChop viewers can try it free for 10 days. Just go to TechChop.com and click on the Gamefly banner at the top of the page, then follow the options to sign up for your free trial. Clicking the banner at the top of TechChop.com lets Gamefly know that TechChop sent you so you can help out the show. Once again, go to TechShop.com and click on the Gamefly banner at the top of the page to sign up for your free trial. Gamefly. Never buy a bad game. In the first part of the show, we talked about adding two-factor authentication to our systems using a tool called Phone Factor. The way it works is you have a user enter their username and password, like they have already been doing, and when that is submitted, it is sent over to your Phone Factor server for verification. The user will then get a phone call on their cell phone to verify that they are indeed trying to log in. If the user is not trying to log in, they can press 911 pound and an alert will be sent to the administrator letting them know that someone is trying to hack in. Check out this video clip from the folks at Phone Factor. Phone Factor doesn't just prevent unauthorized users from logging into your network. It provides insight into threats you'd otherwise be unaware of, stopping someone from continuing to jab at your network until a weakness is found. When the first factor of authentication is compromised, your user is instantly alerted through a simple automated phone call and an alert is sent to your IT department. Now, here's how it works. Users log in as normal using their username and password. Instantly, Phone Factor calls their phone. This is them now. This is Phone Factor. Please press the pound sign to complete your authentication or press 911 pound to report fraud. Okay, now I just press pound and I'm logged in. What takes just seconds for the user provides a critical layer of protection for your company's sensitive data and applications. Now, let's reverse the scenario. An attacker steals my password and tries to log in. Instantly, Phone Factor calls my phone. This is Phone Factor. Please press the pound sign to complete your authentication 
or press 911 pound to report fraud. I'm not only empowered to stop the attack in real time, but my IT department can take immediate action, like resetting my password or removing the offending malware. Knowledge is power, and Phone Factor can give you the power to address security threats as they emerge. You can use this tool on systems like web servers, Citrix, terminal services, email servers, remote VPNs, or just about anything that supports Radius. I set mine up with a RAS VPN server that uses SSTP. To set it up on your Windows network, I recommend installing it on your domain controller. When you go through the install, select VPN and follow the prompts. Use Windows Domain as the authentication method, and you're pretty much done. The only thing you have to do differently is on your RAS server, change the authentication from Windows authentication to Radius, and input the IP address of your phone factor server, the shared secret, and change the timeout to 60 seconds. If you're working in a small shop with everything running on your domain controller, you can install Phone Factor on the same server. Just use 127.0.0.1 for your IP addresses, and it's all good. After that, you can import your users from Active Directory and enter their phone numbers. I had the whole thing up and running in about 30 minutes. The best part about this method is the cost. I already mentioned that it is free for up to 25 users, but you also don't have to purchase key fobs for your VPN users on your network. Those key fobs cost around $75 each, and you know users and how they break and lose stuff all the time, plus their hearts. Anyway, once it's in place, you have an easy to use two-factor authentication system that will keep your network more secure. That's all I have for this episode. If you have any questions, sound off below or leave us a comment on our Facebook page. Don't forget to like, fave, subscribe, and we'll catch you next week right here on Tech Shop. Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here.